Uh, the first topic, though, guys, uh, as we, we begin here tonight, as I said, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, Collider and uh, Collider Movie Talk uh, in particular, and that's going to kind of kick off the show, so let's get into it. So, guys, um, Collider Movie Talk, this is a company in which... Uh, uh, I had been actually following for quite some time. They uh, did a number of different shows on their YouTube channel regarding around movies and such. And for those of you who are just new to the show and don't know much about me, I've, I'm very uh, in tune with what's going on in the filmmaking industry. I went to school for filmmaking. And so I... This was a channel that was, when I was in film school, was a channel that a lot of, of us were, were watching on a regular basis because they did news and such. It's similar to those of you who are in the gaming industry. They're kind of like an IGN, but for filmmaking. And so um, we really were just watching a lot of their shows. They had this very popular show called Collider Movie Talk. They had a panel of about four or five people. They would sometimes have guests on there, like directors or actors and actresses. And they would talk about everything in the world of movies. They would be talking about what movies are coming out that current week in, in theaters to a number of different things, right? Well, anyways, Collider um, decided to drop a number of their shows. And one of those being Collider Movie Talk, which was really tough for me to, to experience because I really liked watching their show. And they decided to move away from this to do other uh, different types of content on their channel. Let's just put it that way. And I understand that the numbers aren't weren't there as they used to be with Collider Movie Talk, um, but it was just really unfortunate the, the way in which they went about doing things. Collider decided just to drop a bunch of their people um, from these shows that were actually pretty iconic shows uh, without giving them any warning at all. And so um, it was one of those things, guys, like it kind of, it, it just kind of like, it hurts to a degree to uh, watch one of those, you know, one of your favorite like movie talk shows ends up, uh, or just anything, whether we're talking like entertainment in general, like when something like that happens where they're just people get like dropped from something who have significant amounts of talent, which by the way, I'm sure a lot of the people who did Collider Movie Talk aren't going to, um, you know, have any tr trouble getting a uh, another job. But it's really an unfortunate thing watching something like that happen. I've seen it all the time in gaming. I've seen it a lot in the gaming industry, seen it a lot in the movie uh, industry as well. Just those things really shouldn't happen in in the current in our current times in 2020. It shouldn't be happening the way in which it is, but it does, and um, it's really unfortunate. And uh, you know, I'm not going to say that Collider lost my support completely um, because they dropped Movie Talk, but uh, they're doing a lot of other different types of content now. Things that uh, you know, like they have a show called For Your Consideration, which of course they're still talking about movies. They still talk about TV shows and such. But it's just a little bit different. And I think it all comes down to, so really what happened to Collider Movie Talk, It's the idea is, is that Movie Talk wasn't getting the numbers it used to when guys like John Campia and John Schnepp, uh, may his soul rest in peace, but when they were a part of the show, uh, it had really great, um, uh, just the amount of uh, exposure they were getting in, in views and such. And they were all about content, whereas, um, you know, the CEO of Collider apparently had other ideas for where he wanted to go. And that's why John Campy ended up leaving the show. So it just ended up kind of being somewhat of a mess. Um, and it's really unfortunate because I believe Collider was pretty much one of the best as far as movie channels out there on YouTube. Now, Frankie, you, uh, you're not really versed in Collider and, and movie talk and such. I basically just, you know, told you uh, about them the other day. Um, but I mean, maybe if you can think of a scenario like in the, the gaming industry, because I've certainly, there's been a number of times I've usually seen in kind of the gaming industry where people, whether they're part of a development team or uh, whatever the case might be, I mean, I'll give you an example. We're going to be talking about Dead Space and Visceral Games got completely just shut down. So these things happen all the time, but I, I wanted to like mention to you, what do you think about just developers um, or, you know, even just whether we're talking developers or uh, in the movie industry, people just getting um, dropped or, you know, fired um, out of nowhere and basically being told that they don't even have a job. Like, what are your what are your your, your thoughts on this as a whole? Well, as far as the gaming industry, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate when that stuff happens. I mean... Another one I can think of off the top of my head is Telltale Games. 
which right. uh, was a studio that made a lot. Like I think I have played through at least 15 of their games, and there were new ones coming out that I was excited for. So it's unfortunate. And then the the thing on top of that is then you also find out like the bad practices that they were you know keeping and you know not giving them benefits or severance or anything like that. And um, when things like that happen, it's it's tough and unfortunate. Um, but as far as like shows getting canceled and changed up, I can relate. You know, like I I watch. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of Kind of Funny Games. They sort of do a bunch of different segments. Right. They like to shift stuff around, and um, even IGN. Like I listen to like their Xbox podcast all the time, and at one point they didn't even shut it down, but like they decided to change the format to only audio. Where I I watch it on YouTube, and even that was big big change for me because I look forward every week to watching it you know you, you, they're not doing anything special necessarily but just seeing their presence you know at, at a table and you know them talking and stuff uh, well even even like better. even like machinima you remember like with machinima I don't know if you watched a lot of machinima but like they were I mean geez they, they kind of feel like they were like almost the pioneers of uh, in a lot of senses, I mean, that's how I saw guys like um, uh, like Zerg Riz and like all the content he was making in Call of Duty. And um, I mean, there was a lot of guys who were doing like top 10 plays and, you know, top fives and stuff on Machinima. And then all of a sudden, um, I, I, Machinima gets just completely, you know, dropped uh, it, or like it just it, like they delete. I think it was they deleted the channel, I believe. I can't quite remember. But anyway, I mean, it was just stuff like that. I mean, it's just so many years of content. I remember seeing um, uh, Energy Hex. I remember Hex talking about it a little bit and how it was really unfortunate that it was just so much content that was now lost um, or just just completely disappeared off the face of the earth. It was really an unfo- an unfortunate uh, ordeal. But uh, did you ever, did you watch any Machinima stuff? Uh, you know, I didn't really get into it, but I remember when it all happened and they shut it down. And yeah, I do remember them saying like all that, all those old videos and like history and people that worked for them before and had their videos up. It was just like suddenly all of that just wiped from the internet. Unless, you know, maybe that some of the people probably have source or their original files or whatever, but still. Uh, it's just weird to think that for so long, so many fans watched all that, and then suddenly it's all gone. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on it. But anyways, guys, I, I definitely want to hear from all of you out there. What are your thoughts on the the unfortunate things that have happened within gaming, the unfortunate things that have happened within, you know, just movies as well, like just the filmmaking industry? Um, And this situation in particular, Collider Movie Talk and it getting completely dropped amongst other shows being canceled over at Collider. What are your thoughts about it? Let me know in the comment section below.